mahabang Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Dennis and you are watching the Dennis for your vlog. If you're new to the channel, please um, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for notification, give us a thumbs up, and leave us some comments if you have any suggestions or recommendations on how we can improve on the vlog or if you have anything else that you would like me to try and do. So for today, um, we already have 200 subscribers for the past couple of weeks. So thank you so much for salat kung wana ng subscribe, salat po ng mga nanood, ng comment, at ng like ng mga videos that I have uploaded for the past couple of weeks. So I guess this is also the best time for me to formally introduce myself to you, so that we can learn more about each other, especially myself, uh, since you are tuning in to the Dennis Warrior Vlog. And so also since majority of the things that we are doing most recently are all about food, hindi siyempre mawawala ang pagkain. Hi Maki, thank you so much for sending over your amazing uh, chocolate chip banana cake na pasalap niya. So ayan, ako lang kumain yan. So almost maubos ko na yung isang loaf na banana cake mo. And I'm also going to try your um, milk tea. So I also purchased uh, winter melon milk tea na naubos ko na. Hindi ko na siya na vlog and na video. And I still have this um, dark chocolate milk tea. So thank you so much, Maki. So if you are interested, I will put the link below kung gusto niyo umorder ng chocolate uh, chip banana loaf and also milk tea from Happy Bottle. So he is based in Pasig. So sa mga taga Pasig area, you know what to do. One hour later. Okay, so... Without further ado, yung aso ko nagwawala na. Gusto yata niya sumali sa vlog ko. <laughs> Alright, let's bring it on! Actually, it's a no. Um, long story of, long story short about my how I got my name, uh, which is Mark Dennis Mandigma. Um, it was my father and my grandfather's um, idea. So one wants to name me Mark, and the other wants to name me Dennis. Pero hindi sila magkasundo. So ang ending just to resolve the issue and avoid any conflicts, pinagsama na lang niya. And that's how I got my name, Mark Dennis. I think it was just two days ago. So. Um, Funny thing is, it's uh, when I was watching a movie. So, medyo mababaw ang luha natin when it comes to movies. So, uh, the movie that I was watching was... Uh, ano yung title doon? But it was on Netflix. Train to Busan! So, during the time na si Gong Yu uh, was bitten already by another zombie and he has to let go and then flashback na siya. At saka nung kumakanta na yung anak niya going through the tunnel. So, medyo bumubus yung luha natin doon. <laughs> um, I don't have any kids, what? definitely. I'm single, not yet married, but I have three kids. So if, um, if I were to have kids, probably I would just have two at most. Kasi mahirap magpalaki ngayon. <laughs> mahirap magpalaki ng bata. I would... <laughs> I, well, I think I, I would be friends with myself as well. So, I think um, for the most part naman, mapagbigay naman tayo, mahabang pasensya natin. And I was able to give sensible advice to my friends. So, uh, I think that um, I would also be a good example to other people. Good example! <laughs> no, uh, seriously. Uh, and I also like to travel. So, Definitely, I would like to hang out with someone who has the same passion as me. Yes, I am sarcastic. <laughs> uh, for the most part, minsan medyo hindi na siya nakahalata. Pero if I were close to you already, or if I am annoyed, so you would hear me uh, using sarcastic 
um, sentences or sarcastic comments already. Yeah, medyo ano tayo? Mapang uyam. <laughs> Lalim tagalog. <laughs> yeah, I am sarcastic. First thing I notice is how they dress up and how they smile. So also, I guess given the manain sa tao, um, if you are dressed up well, it means that you care about yourself, how you present yourself, and you become more confident. So how you look actually affects how you feel. So it's like a projection. So if you want to feel good, then dress up well. Uh, it depends on the occasion, because sometimes we are overdressed or underdressed. Um, depends on what is your purpose uh, or what you are going to do for the day. I like scary movies because of the mystery and the thrill uh, that you feel. But sometimes it's really scary. Siya. So when I was young, um, I am brave enough to watch Magandang Gabi Bayan um, Halloween um, edition. We can have that every um, every year. But for the most part, I also like happy ending. So it makes you feel good. Na finally, uh, you'll be able to see some resolution, uh, some happy th happiness, and that's what we need right now, especially in this pandemic. I like the smell of freshly cooked um, adobo and also sinigang. So, that's the food. It's eh. <laughs> well, Hindi naman obvious sa vlog ko. Daming pagkain. The farthest that I have been away from home was um, going to Japan. Yeah, so I've been to Japan twice. One and the first one was um, 2018 so I was in Tokyo for six days and uh, most recently before the pandemic hit um, so January going to February so I was there for nine days so uh, I was able to go to Osaka, Nara, Kobe and also Tokyo I can sing <laughs> yeah um, during uh, my elementary days and also high school days, so I was part of a choir. Yeah. Sample? Wala. Walang sample. <laughs> no. If you want a sample, just stay tuned on this vlog. Uh, I'll be uploading some um, covers of some songs. Yun eh. <laughs> abang abang lang tayo ha. So hopefully hindi siya makapiright no, kasi for the most part that's what we're trying to avoid. I was born in Cabanatuan City, Nueva Ecija. Yeah. So, um, I think it was a PJG hospital. So, some mga Novo Ecijano watching this, so you know that. Um, Chinese zodiac sign, I was born in uh, the year of the snake. And also, I'm a Sagittarius. Yeah. So, um, I don't really believe in horoscope, pero it makes you feel good um, trying to learn more about what could possibly happen. And sometimes, medyo tumatama na may description eh. For some reason at all, na feeling mo talaga, um, whatever it is that you're reading sa horoscope mo is um, very much relatable to you. Uh, it, it's not really um, scientifically uh, based, pero that's okay. Um, sabi nga na si Naida Seba, gabay lamang sila. Uh, pero hindi naman talaga doon nakabase kung ano man ang mangyayari sa atin in the future. So, nobody can tell. Right now, my hobbies would include um, streaming videos on YouTube, uh, sometimes Netflix. I also watch K-dramas online. So, since uh, yun naman pwede natin gawin as of this time. Um, previously, I also love going to the gym, uh, working out. So, miss ko na rin ang gym kasi sarado pa rin, bawal pa rin lumabas. So, but I hope uh, we will be able to do something about the situation. A few moments later. Alright muna. Break lang, break.
I have three dogs. So the first one that we have, is, his name is Loki. Uh, the next one is um, Natasha. And uh, the third one is um, Chuchi. So all of which are adopted. And so adopt, don't chop. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, we were five uh, siblings. Um, in terms of order of birth, I am the first born. Oh, now you know, uh, so... <laughs> okay. Did I just say that correctly? Yeah, oh nga, no. Pang ilan ka sa inyong magkakapatid? In terms of order of birth, uh, yeah, I was born first. Uh, so I have three more brothers and one sister. When I was still young, so I want to be a doctor, I want to be an engineer, I want to be an architect, I want to be a singer, gusto kong mag-artista and all. Pero right now, mukhang pag-artista pa yung vlog na lang. <laughs> no, kidding aside, um, when I was also young, so sabi ko raw, kwento sa akin ng lola ko, sabi ko raw, gusto ko raw maging presidente ng Pilipinas. Kasi gusto ko raw, uh, ipapasemento ko raw yung lahat ng mga kalsada dun sa probinsya natin, which was Nueva Ecija. Wala, pwede bang di sa gulit yun? Ngayon lang motong sa labas. Eventually. I'm 5 feet 7 inch tall, uh, so that's 171 centimeters. Eh, alam na nila yung height ko. <laughs> yeah, so that's how tall I am. So, if I'm not mistaken, the average height of Filipinos or okay, male Filipinos is 5'5 five five or 5'6. Five so, if I'm 5'7, so a little bit above average. Alright, so I've been to Japan twice. Um, Hong Kong and Macau both are part of China, so that's two. And then also visited Vietnam, Cambodia, and Thailand. So, so far I've been to five different countries. So, I can say that I am a budget traveler. I plan everything. I'm the one who's making our own itinerary. Um, so, apag okay na yung pandemic natin, if, when it's all gone, um, expect travel vlogs coming from me as well. So probably I can also share to you how I got my uh, five-year uh, multiple entry visa from Japan. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's a good idea. Wow, okay, so I'm a geek. I can totally say I'm a geek. Um, favorite subject um, when I was still in high school was um, chemistry and physics. Also, um, trigonometry. So, shout out po sa mga teachers ko. Sila, Mrs. De La Cruz, Mrs. Manumbas. Um, so, those are the, my favorite subjects uh, when I was still in high school. So, when I graduated fourth year high school, I actually got Best in Physics Award. Oh! Yeah, boy! <laughs> Um, I used to play um, patin pero. No. <laughs> no, I used to play basketball and volleyball, um, but I have some limitations way back. Uh, I tried um, trying out for volleyball varsity before, uh, pero it didn't work out because I was wearing glasses at the time, so hindi um, talaga kaya. Uh, most recently, I also did um, Dragon Boat Racing. So I was part of Maharlika Dracon. So I was able to compete once. But uh, due to the schedule uh, conflict that I have, so I was not able to really pursue uh, Dragon Boat Racing. Alright, um, some of the YouTubers that I admire and I'm following and watching recently would be uh, David Gison is number one. And also Mimiya! <laughs> yeah, Mimiya, uh, she's really funny. Uh, I like her videos. Uh, very natural. Um, also, um, Aloja Gosheng Fiao, uh, Will Dasovich. So, those are the people that I'm looking up to. So, Sino pa ba? Uh, Benedict Kua. So, for the most part, uh, I'm seeing myself just like them. Oy! Projecting already. Pero yun. Uh, th those are just some of the names that I uh, follow on YouTube recently. Uh, 
I'm an iPhone user, so most of the vlogs or all of the vlogs that I'm uh, uh, videoing or shooting right now is um, was shot um, through my iPhone 11 Pro Max. So you and I'm an Apple user. I would say that I am both extrovert and introvert at the same time, so you call them ambivert. So there are times that uh, my confidence level is overflowing. Uh, this happens for the most part when uh, I feel that I need to um, step up, especially whenever you are leading a team. So you have to make sure that your voice will be heard, you are confident enough so that your followers or your team will follow you. At the same time, I'm also um, an introvert inside, so I'm the silent type of person. So um, I'm the kind of person that uh, will not speak up unless I will be asked to do so. Uh, pero depende sa situation. So for the most part, loner din ako kung minsan. But on the other spectrum, I could say that I have a lot of friends. I can get along with almost anyone. Kahit saan mo akong grupo iba to, I can definitely ensure that uh, I can make sure that I will be able to uh, be part of that group. So yun, I am an ambivert. Um, right-handed or left-handed in terms of what? <laughs> yeah, for the most part, um, there are things that you can do with my right hand. So um, for the most part, I write with my right hand. So I can say that I am right-handed. Um, another thing is that uh, when uh, I was training for badminton, I used to train with my both hands. So kaya kung gumamit ng laketa kahit na kanan or kaliwa pa yun. But I am right-handed. Right-handed. <laughs> If I were to choose to live anywhere in the world, um, in terms of um, the culture, technology, and all, uh, I would say that I would choose uh, Japan. So I really love Japan. Uh, I guess that's one of the reasons why I, am, I keep coming back to Japan. But uh, given the chance, definitely, I would love to stay here in the Philippines. Kasi mas madali, hindi ka kailangan mag-English, hindi mo kailangan, <laughs> uh, or hindi mo kailangan asyadong mag-adjust since I was born here in the Philippines. And everything is much more economical here in the Philippines compared to uh, Japan. Imagine a one-way ticket uh, in Japan if you're going to take up the train uh, would cost you um, almost um, 100 yen is the, or 150 yen is the cheapest. So converting that to peso, one way ticket mo palang from one station to the next station palang yun na 40 pesos or 45 pesos na siya. So, mas matas ang cost of living nila in Japan. So, more than that, uh, I really love Japan. It's very clean. Um, ang ganda ng nature niya. And there are also a lot of bustling cities just like Tokyo and Osaka. So, it's going to be Japan. Three hours later. And that's the end of the vlog. So that's 25 facts about me. So if you would like to learn more about me, pwede na naman kayong bumisita sa aking um, Instagram page. Uh, that would be at Dennis underscore Warrior. And uh, kung meron pa kayong mga suggestions, recommendations about other stuff that we can do while we are on quarantine, please keep them coming. Pwede nyo akong i-message. Pwede kayong mag-leave ng comment below uh, para mabasa ko at makita natin kung ano pang pwede natin gawin. So thank you so much guys for watching. That's the end of it. It's a wrap!